Did any of you have a chance to read or take a look at the little blue book for filmmakers, the book that I wrote with Carl Gottlieb, co-wrote with him? Anybody? Mm -hmm. Okay, there was a chapter in there that I thought that I would address to all of you because I really feel it's important at this point in your career to know about it. Do you know what waiting to act means? You know the lines of the other person and you're just waiting to say your lines. Does that make sense to you? deadly because acting is looking, listening, reacting, responding. So every time that you hear them speak, the other person speak, it's got to be the first time you ever hear them. That's the trick that you as actors have to learn how to do is that I've never heard them say this. And really listen, really look at them, listen, react, then respond. Remember the, I talked to you a little bit about the white stripes, the little tapes they put on the floor? You can't look down at them. Remember, you have to just trust your instinct that you'll hit them. And I think that that's the most important thing to say to any actor is trust your gut. Your gut allows, as Paul Newman would say, the character to enter. It's very hard to say, you know, I love you. No, really I do. I, I love you. Um... But, honey, sometimes you just upset me. Now, see, I'm walking and talking. I'm doing something. I'm doing an action and an activity. All good acting needs that action and activity. This is one of my favorites. And Carl, actually, uh, Carl Gottlieb, who wrote Jaws and The Jerk and Dr. Detroit, he calls it incessant ad living. So the line is, I told you so, and the actor goes, hey, you know, I was just, I really remember that I told you so. Now, a nice director will say, that was very good, thank you so much for ad-libbing. Was that in the script? But a not so nice director might say, could you please just stick with the words? And then you feel funny. So try not to actually ad-lib the words, but here's a little trick. You can ad-lib them, ad them in your head. So, give me a line. Where did he go? Where did he go? So if I wanted to ad-lib where did he go, in my mind I might go, oh, for God's sakes, where did he go? That's in my brain. But what I, I think that in my brain, but I actually think it before I say the, the line. Where did he go? But I'm thinking, oh, for God's sakes, where did he go? This is a little trick I do. You're just thinking of how you would say it to help the flow of the words. Because sometimes you start a scene in the middle of talking and it's very awkward. Or you walk in and you've got to bring in the before moment, remember? What just happened to you? Where are you? What are you doing? Where are you going? What's the weather like? How do you feel? What's your emotional life like? For some reason, we work and work and work and work to get that audition. We work and work and work to get that role and then we just get lazy. I do it. We all do it. It's failing to prepare. Do you know what I'm saying? Research your character. Jake, give me an example. Your character comes from the South. How do you research him? He's a young boy who's studying at, 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 uh, at um, Chapel Hill, and he's um, the University of uh, North Carolina or Chapel Hill, and uh, he wants to go into politics. How do you, how do you study that character? I would, you know, go on the Internet, talk to people who you know, are from that area and see, you know, observe and get into their... That's a lovely way of doing it. I'm trying to teach you the Hollywood style of acting. What is that? It's making your decisions before you go in to do the role. The director can always change those decisions, can't he? Or she. But if you walk in with no decisions, no back life history, Remember, make that back life history. Make it up. Where did I come from? What was the nature of my religion? What, what did my parents do? What was my the income of my family? How was I raised? Did I have any brothers or sisters? How old am I when this moment happened? What was the deciding moment in my life where I decided to do what I'm doing right now? Do you see? I'm beginning to create character right off the bat. That character then has a chance to enter me in its own way and become real. And I flush it out and flush it out and I make decisions. And then I walk in and the director and or the casting director can go, great choices. Let's try it a little bit more this way. But if you walk in and you generically do the writer's words, guess what? 
Five hundred other actors have walked in generically doing the writer's words, and you're just, who's going to choose you? you got to make choices. Be prepared. The one last one I think I want to address is, is going into an audition and saying, I've got it memorized. And they, you put your script down. Deadly. I want you to have it memorized, but at least look at it once during your audition. Do you know why? Because the director knows that he can re or she can redirect you. If you go in with it in rote, memorized, it's very hard for them to go, can you change it? They get nervous about it. So you always want to let the director feel he can change you.